Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and today I am sharing kind of my packing guide for our upcoming Hawaiian vacation. So we leave relatively soon, like super soon, and because of work and like life commitments basically, I'm kind of having to do my packing right now, but that's a good thing because it's gonna keep me on track and make sure everything's done before we leave. So today I'm sharing kind of my outfits and everything that I plan to wear for our trip. Super excited to share this with you guys. I'm gonna run down all the outfits that I'm bringing. So I'm gonna pop into my closet right behind me. We'll just go through the outfits one by one and have a great time. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is outfit one and I'm planning on just wearing this kind of black dress like a t-shirt dress on the plane for our travel day it's super simple and then I'm pairing it with just a cardigan that I can use throughout the week as well it's just kind of there's a sock in there you know typical when you're doing laundry um but just kind of like throw this cardigan on as a little shawl warmer like I don't know if the plane's gonna be really cold so I want to be prepared we're also leaving like super early in the morning so it's not gonna exactly be like 80 degrees when we're heading out to the airport so this is the outfit that I think I'm planning on wearing it could change I could go into jeans like and a shirt but I'm probably still gonna have like a party and something like that so this is outfit one and also the dress again super easy t-shirt dress you know can wear that throughout the rest of the week very easy for just normal everyday wear while on vacation so this is outfit one outfit number two so we're actually getting pictures taken while on oahu and this was a big christmas gift for my parents i thought this would be a really great way especially with covid to get some nice photos without a mask on because will be outside and like really really early so hopefully not a lot of people but I am planning to wear just this basic blue dress you know as part of the pictures really really easy navy dress and it's got like tiered sections super super easy but it also goes with the whole color scheme of our pictures now when we go get pictures we are doing sunrise so we'll actually be heading back to the heading back to the resort and actually switching into just like hiking gear which is basically just like workout gear this dress i will probably wear multiple times throughout the vacation it can also be kind of dressed up dressed down which is really great but this is outfit number two so i did forget to mention with the other two outfits the black dress is actually cloth and stone and that is a brand that you can just search online i think it's sold at like anthropology but I got mine at Von Mar or Nordstrom, which is like high-end retailer. Um, Von Mar is local to Indiana, so just so you know, it's cloth and stone. And then the blue dress was actually a TJ Maxx or Marshalls find, and that brand is Green Envelope, just if you're curious. Now, these are loft shorts, which I picked up for the trip. They have that paper bag trend going on, but they're linen, they're super light and comfortable. I just love how they fit and look but the one thing is I definitely have to iron them that is the only like thing is they are kind of wrinkly not good travel pants let's just say that and then this is a tank it's philosophy and I believe I also got it at TJ Maxx but it's just a navy tank um, because this color on these pants is kind of weird so it's really hard to like pair something like exactly that green color but i think it's really cute just a nice casual outfit for like going out to dinner we're doing a lot of food trucks so don't need to wear a ton of fancy outfits but figure this one was pretty cute so outfit number three so this is outfit number four and i really love this it is a calvin klein white tank top but i love the little ruffle details if you can see on the neck and the shoulders super super cute and really soft and comfortable and cool and then these are some vineyard vine shorts these are my favorite shorts if you don't know i love tailored looking things and these are my favorite shorts ever um these have 
pineapples on them. They're so cute. I'm not sure if you can tell. I'll do a zoom up close up on them, but this is just another casual outfit. Again, wear out to dinner or something like that, wear during the day and really, really comfortable and super fashionable. So as mentioned, all my shorts are pretty much going to the Vineyard Vines. These are just some white ones in the same style, the three and a half inch shorts inseam. And then this is another top and it's from Loft. And I just love the look of this. It's just so flowy and kind of covers your rear end. So if you wanted to, this would be super cute with jeans, which I am bringing a pair of white jeans. I might pair it with that. Um, but again, just really, really flowy. And I love the color. It's kind of coming up almost, I'm sorry if you can see my black bra that I'm unfortunately wearing with this top, but it's kind of coming up white, but it's like this almost sea green, like super soft, 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 like green aqua color. I love it. It's just so comfortable and easy to wear. Um, I just like really light flowy stuff, but again, I wouldn't recommend like a black bra with it, just so you know, but this is outfit number five. And again, trying to keep it low because we're trying to do as much laundry as possible. So it can kind of get chilly by the ocean at night, especially. So I am bringing this hooded little, I don't know if you can tell there's a hood on my hair but there is like a little hood right here. Hooded sweater in a navy. If you can tell, it's like a navy color. And this is from Banana Republic Factory. It really is super comfortable. And again, it goes really nicely with the white shorts that I previously had on. I am trying to think, most of the stuff I'm packing is just a specific outfit that again, I'll re-wear later in the trip or things that can like mix and match. Another top that I'm bringing is this tank top. And what I really like about this top is it's from Altered State and it's kind of cropped. It has some fringe along the armhole and the bottom. And on the back, it's got buttons down the back and like a little cutout. Really, really super cute and just would pair nice, excuse me would pair nicely with the white shorts as well or navy shorts or whatever. So again, this is kind of like the one piece of clothing that I'm bringing that is like specifically for polyacala, for wearing out at night when it gets really cold. This is just kind of that one piece that I think you'll be happy to bring. I get cold easily, so I'd rather have something than nothing. So that's, that's what I bring. Outfits number six and seven. I just wanted to show you an option. This is like a cropped boxy tee from Target. Super, comfor super comfortable and relaxing and just, you know, really easy to wear. And then these are Airy from American Eagle bike shorts. This is just one of the outfits that I'm bringing, but I'll show a few other items that I will have for loungewear real quick. So my family definitely likes to keep the air condition going, um, especially in a hotel room. So it will be cold. I am planning on bringing just some cuddle duds, loungewear, kind of sweatpants. I know it's Hawaii. I know I feel like I'm crazy for bringing sweatpants, but I really just like being warm and cozy. And if it's freezing, like they keep it on like 60 degrees or something, I'm going to be so cold. I will just go down and buy something because I'll be so cold and freezing. We will be golfing. This is just another outfit that I'm bringing. Just trying to make sure my outfit is appropriate for that day. Um, this one is perfectly acceptable. It is Greg Norman. I also have a Nike golf shirt and a Lady Hagen shirt that I could also bring, but just make sure you're picking up appropriate gear for that. And then as I mentioned, we are going hiking quite a bit. So I do have a few tank tops. These are just, you know, workout tanks. If we do plan to do a class or they are offering classes at Alani, they have some really cool workout classes, normal 
time of the year but with covid i don't know if they're going to be offered like paddle boarding and um some like beach yoga and different things like that so have a few kind of workout tanks for hikes and things and then just a pair of leggings and then two pairs of kind of like hiking shorts and and whatnot so again the bike shorts are perfectly fine to work out in as well so i don't want to bring too many options um i don't want to weigh my suitcase down a ton but those are just some of the kind of hiking activity loungewear pieces that i'm bringing as well swimsuits so this is a category i think i have kind of gone overboard with just a bit so i do have one cover-up again as i mentioned i have a few dresses that i can also wear as cover-ups that i'm bringing um it's really just about multi-purpose when it comes to this type of vacation so i do have one cover-up i've got two bikinis that are high-waisted because i don't wear anything else um that are from airy love these one is just more of a like aqua teal and then the other one's like an olive color these will be great for just lounging by the pool but then i need to bring specific swimsuits for diving and snorkeling um you kind of wear specific things and i'm also the type of person that doesn't like putting on a wet swimsuit later in the day so if we're let's say snorkeling or diving in the morning and we go to the pool later i'm gonna want to wear a completely different swimsuit so this is like only three days worth of clothing and then I might wash them all. So the first is I do have a strapless one piece. This is from a brand called Catalina and I'll put these down really quick. Um, so Catalina, I really, really like, it's got this kind of tie detail right on the stomach right here. Um, and then again, strapless. Then we've got, this is another swimsuit by Catalina. This is my favorite for diving, especially because it is kind of a V-neck, but the back is extremely like taut. It has um, like a lace up back. So you can make it as tight as you want and really, really nice for diving one pieces especially. And then I have two others, which these are great for snorkeling this is one by Cupshe, which is a great brand you can find them on amazon this is just a v-neck and then it has like a little bit of ruching really pretty peacock green color love this and then last but not least i got this one recently at target this is just kind of the same style one piece and then it's like a navy white stripe last but not least this is just another dress that I'm bringing. This is Lily Pulitzer. I love, love, love the pattern. It's just this bright, cheerful, very, very fun tropical print. I absolutely love it. And again, it actually has that tiered dress style, like the first navy dress that I tried on, but really, really comfortable. And honestly, can even wear as like a cute cover up really really comfortable and just nice to wear but love this super excited those are all the outfits that i'm bringing again trying to re-wear as much as possible it's gonna be a long long vacation but i don't want to overpack we have laundry might as well use it so thanks so much for stopping by i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next one and have a great day bye